Hello, are you prepping for the Praxis General Science exam? My name is Derek Masiaga. I'm with study.com. I'm going to walk you through some example astronomy questions in this video. Let's take a look. Question one, what is the primary factor that determines the life cycle of a star? A, its color, B, its distance from the Earth, C, its mass, or D, its brightness? Well, the correct answer here is going to be C, its mass. It actually turns out that the more mass a star has, the um, shorter the life of that star is. And so if we think of what a star is, it's basically a big ball of hydrogen gas and it's undergoing a nuclear reaction. And so the fuel for that uh, nuclear reaction is the amount of mass that the star has. If we, we can eliminate question, uh, option A, its color, that's basically just gonna tell us the temperature of the star. B, the distance from the Earth, that has nothing to do with the life cycle of a star. And then D, its brightness, that is also from the perspective of how far away the star is from the Earth. So B and D are kind of correlated. Uh, and so once again, option C here is our best answer. Question two. What pattern best describes the changes in the length of daylight from day to day throughout the year? Is it A, the length of daylight remains the same every day? B, the length of daylight increases or decreases in a consistent linear pattern each day? C, the length of daylight follows a sinusoidal pattern, increasing and decreasing in a cyclical manner? manner. Or D, the length of daylight is longest in winter and shortest in summer? So looking at these options, um, I already know that option D is incorrect. We actually have the longest days in summer and the shortest days in winter. So that also eliminates option A. Uh, and so it's between B and C. And so the correct answer here is going to be option B. We actually get an increase or decrease in a consistent pattern each day. And that's basically from the uh, winter solstice, which is the shortest day, and it's going to increase all the way up until we get to the summer solstice, which is the longest day. And so we're either increasing consistently or we're decreasing consistently throughout the year. Question three, which of the following is a true statement about the surface features and atmosphere of Mars? A, it has a thick, cloud-filled atmosphere similar to Earth's. B, it is characterized by vast bodies of surface water. C, it has the largest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons. Or D, its surface is dominated by lush green vegetation. And so we are looking for a true statement about the surface features and atmosphere of Mars. So if you just... Think about Mars for a second. You know, what is the first thing that probably comes to your head in terms of what Mars looks like? It probably to, probably what you're thinking is probably a kind of a deserted red planet. And so when we think of that, we know that D is not the answer. It does not have lush green vegetation. B is not the answer. It does not have large bodies of surface water. If that was the case, we would already kind of know that, that would be a, a pretty obvious thing. But we know that Mars is pretty um, kind of desert-like. And then looking at between A and C, um, you know, option A says a thick cloud-filled atmosphere. And so I know that that also is not the correct answer, okay? Uh, once again, we would know that as a uh, characteristic of Mars, but Mars is has a actually is a very thin atmosphere, and so I know it's not A. So even if we didn't know that Mars has the largest volcano in the solar system, by process of elimination, that we're going to find that this is actually true. Um, Mars actually does have the largest volcano, and it is called Olympus Mons. Question four. Arrange the following units of astronomical distance in order from smallest to largest. A. Parsecs light years, astronomical units, B, light years, parsecs, astronomical units, C, astronomical units, 
light years, parsecs, or D, astronomical units, parsecs, light years. So once again, we want to look at the question here. We are going from smallest to largest. And so it turns out that answer C is the correct answer. Astronomical units is the smallest and parsecs is the largest. It actually turns out that one parsec is equal to 3.26 light years and one parsec is also equal to 206,265 astronomical units. And so therefore we can literally and clearly see that the parsec is the largest and the astronomical unit is the smallest. I hope this video was helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, check out our other videos and then also make your way over to study.com to check out our Praxis test prep courses. As a study.com member, you'll get full access to hundreds of practice problems like the ones I just walked you through, plus targeted instruction for any topics that you're still struggling with, as well as test strategy to help you maximize your score on test day. Finally, we wanna hear from you. Please like and subscribe if today's video was helpful, and let us know down below in the comments if there are any specific topics you want us to cover next. Good luck and happy studying.